Hey guys, Fabaluki here today, and we're going to be looking at something pretty cool. It's a completely hidden floor trap. So, you've probably seen some before where the pistons just drag the blocks to the side, but the problem with that is you can't just put it in a, in a large room because you can see it. You can see the pistons. But with this design I've created, um, you're not going to see it at all. So, we've got a tripwire coming across here, which... If, if there's a, a griefer or someone walking into your house, they're not going to see it. And, and by the time they do it, it's going to be too late because they're going to hit this and they're going to fall straight down to the hole that just randomly appears. And in a second, it's gone. So you can see here, the floor is completely flat. There's no evidence that there's even any pistons there. You can't see them at all. All these columns here are just decoration. So there's nothing hidden behind here. And same with those. And with these walls here, there's nothing here. All the redstone stuff is below the floor. So you can have a room as big as you want with just a random piston f hole in the floor, which is pretty damn cool. So if we come down here, we can see how it works. So our activation is over here. When the trip wire gets gets walked through, uh, it'll activate, sending the signal down here, and it'll activate this pulse limiter. We've been using a lot of these lately, and it's extremely useful for this build here. And then we have our two piston rows, which I'll explain how they work when we start the tutorial. So we'll just go through it one final time. So we hit this. Right here, and our, our piston hole will open up and will fall straight down. You can see it goes flushed against the wall. The only reason you can actually see is those torches, but those have to be there. So anyway, we fall through, and we are now trapped, except I've built an exit. So, But you could just simply do this, and then the person would be trapped down here, and they wouldn't be able to get out. So anyways, let's get started on the tutorial. Okay, so I've just built my floor. Um, this is going to be the floor of your house, or wherever you're building it. Um, so just build it wherever you want. I've built mine five blocks above the ground because we're going to need that much height for the redstone and it just prevents me from having to dig anywhere. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is going to dig out the hole where you want your pistons to go. So then it needs to be two blocks wide and then however long you want it to be. Mine's going to be this long right here so that, what's that? that's six blocks long. Then we're going to go down underneath and on both sides we're just going to place a block on the side here and one down. This is just so we can place a piston here and then we do a whole row for the span of the the hole. And we do another one below that as well. And we do the same on the other side. So we're just going to use our block here. It, we're just placing this block here to be able to place the pistons easy. Um, so that we don't have any troubles with that. And we just fill out the row and we do one more below it. Like this. And we can just get rid of those excess blocks right now. And now we're going to do the pistons that are going to be facing upward. So to do these, just place two blocks out here, and then, no, only one, sorry, and then place it on the side here like that, and then you can just place them all here. So we want to fill up the whole hole, um, so that when you put a floor on it, it covers up this, this uh, hole on the floor. So then we just place a block of choice. For me, it's the smooth sandstone, so I'm just going to place it all in here. And there you go, that, that's that part done. So we place all our pistons and everything. Now we just need to hook them all up. So on this side ones, we're going to place two blocks out all the way along here. So we're going to go do that on the other side as well. Two blocks all the way along. And then we just have repeaters all the way in. Not set to anything, just on uh, the default setting. So all the way along here as well. And then we're just going to hook all these up with a piece of redstone like this. And we'll bring our wire at the front, bring it along all the way along and do the same on the other side, hook up the redstone like this and bring the wire all the way around and now here we're going to remove two pieces of redstone um, and two here and we're going to put two repeaters in one is going to be set to four and one's going to be set to three so we do the same on the other side so we go one set to three oh, three, and the other one's set to four so our top piston, uh, oh well, sorry our side pistons are now all hooked up properly now, to power these ones here, we're going to be using some redstone torches um, along the wall. So, we actually need to build our wall first, which is going to be below, it's going to be where this gap is, basically. So, we're going to have our wall coming along here, and we do the same on this side here as well. Just fill in that gap right there. And then we just need to put redstone torches underneath all of these pistons. This is what powers our vertical pistons. And now you can see it's already filled in the hole. So... They, they're in the right position. If your pistons extend properly, then they're in the right position. And then to power these, we're going to do the same thing we did above. We're going to use redstone repeaters. So we're going to bring it one block down from this uh, our little wall we placed and bring it all the way along like that and do the same on the other side. So 
So two blocks out all the way along. Like this. And then we get our redstone repeaters going in into each of these blocks. All the way along. And we hook it up with redstone just like we did above. All the way. And same on this side. And then we just bring the wire around and connect them together. Just like this. So now they're all joined together. Then we just need to put single repeaters in um, where these blocks are. So wherever that block is, you put one facing that way and one facing this way. This is just to ensure that uh, the, the signal is going to get all the way to the end from both sides. So now that we've done this part, we can move on to the uh, pulse limiter and the actual activation of the circuit. Okay, now we can build the uh, the whole PAL part of the circuit that joins it all together with the pulse limiter. So to build our pulse limiter, we're going to come two blocks away from the redstone line here. On the ground here, we're going to put two repeaters, and these are directly in line where, with the hole. One is going to be set to four, and the other one just on one. We put a block at either end of those repeaters. Put a torch on top of the first one, a block on top of that, two blocks over the repeaters, and that's our pulse limiter done, um, with redstone on the top, of course. Then we're going to put a torch on the side here at the end, with redstone down the bottom, and we just bring this up, and this will join to our lower piston. So our lower pistons are now going to be controlled by this pulse limiter. Now we need to connect the upper pistons, which is pretty simple. We put a torch on the side of this block, and we put a block above that, and then we bring our redstone uh, line coming up this way. Not like that, sorry. Coming up this way. So it comes along the top from that torch and comes up. And you'll see the pistons will all extend at the same time. So now if we chuck a lever on the side of this first block, we can activate our piston trap. Um, and if this happens, there's a timing issue. So I think I've messed up one of the timings. Um, which may be this one here, if I do that, that might work a bit better, let's just reset that, and do it now, there we go, okay, so I made a mistake before, it's actually four and two, sorry about that, um, but anyways, so that works now perfectly fine, and it's activated by that lever, so really, all that's left to do now is just wherever you want the, tra uh, the trap to be activated from, you just have to hook it up to this block, so... Our input is going to be right here, so you can connect this redstone line wherever you want it to be activated. And on my one over here, I've just connected it up to a trip wire that's up the top. It just comes down and goes into the pulse repeater. Uh, limiter, not repeater. So we hit the trip wire and it falls down like that and we'll fall into the hole. So that's all there is to it, guys. Um, I hope this is going to help you catch some griefers and, and trolls in your houses. And anyways, guys, I'll see you next time.